Hi everyone. So this is uh, originally and currently a Facebook live session that I will repost to YouTube as a video in case anyone in uh, YouTube land would like to understand, uh, you know, um, what's going on. Uh, sometimes you'll see me refer to comments, things like that, and I know you guys can't see those things. However, I am going to try to keep abreast and um, hyper aware of that and get through this in a timely fashion. So, uh, and I know it's late, um, but I told myself that I was going to follow through with what I originally planned to do, which is get through this information for this case that I've been sitting on for over a week. Um, hi. So, just when I thought I reached the capital of all fuckery with Letitia Stouk, someone suggests looking into the, the Vallo case. So I can't uh, exactly pinpoint or explain why I do what I do. <laughs> However, I said, well, uh, let me take a look, you know. Uh, let me see a photo of the kid. So I uh, sit with the photo and I start writing information down. You know, and if you if you watch my last live, which if you're watching on YouTube, I'm going to upload this one first, so it may not make sense. Um, I was explaining that, you know, I like to show uh, the basis of what I do, um, how random it can be. Um, so I showed. Okay. This is like, you know, stock for uh, cheap business cards or whatever, but it was, it's, I always grab whatever I can find. I don't care what it is. Paper towel, whatever. If feeling strikes me, woo! I'll write in crayon. <laughs> anyway, this is the abbreviated or annotated version of the information that I was picking up when the case drew me in and um, that was that. Anyway, so. I've tried to be more concise and take the information and put it in some semblance of digestible fashion so that we can get through this video and I can go to bed. Okay. Um, all right. So the very first thing that comes up for me, all right, this is what I do. I tune in and I feel around. And I'm in my mind, in my mind's eye, like, uh, looking at the photos and saying to myself and anyone out there like, you know, are you there? Hello? Tylee? Joshua? Nothing. Okay. However, I am getting other impressions beyond that, but I'm saying it from a mediumship standpoint, nothing. Has that happened before? Yeah, I suppose so, but I can't explain it. It's almost like, um, when you know what you know what you know. In other words, you get that feeling of feeling bad for who, whomever cares about these people, like instantly, you know, uh, almost like you're in, in, um, pos not possession, but you have some sort of knowledge about, um, their family member that, that, that can cause great grief. I don't get that. <laughs> okay. I don't get that at all. And I have, I have smacked it, flipped it, rubbed it down, done whatever I had to do, sat with it. Oh my goodness. Uh, tried to mold and bounce scenarios. It's difficult to explain, but in my mind's eye, and if it doesn't fit it, it you know, the, the greater the proportion of it that doesn't fit, the, the harder it is for me to, to squeeze it in there. In other words, it kind of just bounces out. And I've gone through all different types of scenarios. And I'm not saying that I'm at, that this is, a, you know, that I, I couldn't be wrong. I'm saying that for me, um, I can't get it to fit in that segment. 
In other words, I think the kids are lying. I can't get around it and, and you know, and I'm going to flash forward a bit here. Even when I subsequently to tuning into this, went and read some things on it. I'm like, Jesus Christ, man, this <laughs> Lori Vallow, she's got her hands in a lot of shit. Okay. And she's definitely guilty of that, of the influence uh, of, of the death of her husband um, that was supposedly self-defense by her brother. Um, that's definitely exactly how it happened. Manipulation, um, force of hand. Um, that death was not self-defense. Um, however, that, so, so given all, all the other stuff, I said to myself, well, okay, well, look, look at this, this instance here. So, so this points in that, that type of direction, all right, that thought process. Like, well, <laughs> if she can do this, well, how about here? Nope not budging. I'm like, oh boy. So anyway, a good thing in, in uh, the library of this uh, woman's life, there, there's plenty more to try to point you in that direction. Um, as far as the new husband, Chad, his wife, does Lori have involvement in her death? I would say absolutely and definitely by influence. Okay. I just heard conjuring up something. Anywho, are there other uh, deaths that surround this woman's story that she had her hand in definitely by influence? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Given all that, you know, and I'm trying to sum this up so that we can, uh, or at least I can get some food, more food. <laughs> I've been eating all night and uh, go to bed. Um, I'm, I'm almost positive the kids are alive. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like who, what, when, where, why type thing. And maybe not in that order, but this is my intent and my goal. So hopefully we can fulfill that. So originally subsequent to me trying, uh, saying, you know, calling out for them. Um, I asked my brother if they were there and he's, just like that, he closed his eyes like, I'm like, oh, come on, man. Is this a hologram? Melvin, is that really you? <laughs> is somebody wearing your suit? He's laughing. And he's like, no, Joey, not here. So then, of course, I'm like, you know what? I'll ask Gannon. Okay? Because that connection is so clear and crisp. And, and I think that a big part of what Gannon is doing there. Um, is helping out over here um, in situations that he can relate to, okay? that That's what I'll say, and he's very happy to do it. But anyway, he says, no, they're not there either. Now, in uh, subsequent to this, you know, me writing the notes and this, that, and the other, and uh, finally looking at news stories, different things. I did not see a great proportion of people that think that these kids are alive. I'm just saying. So it gave, it gave me anxiety big time. You know, like, oh, Lord. Oh, boy. It's going to be, you know, because look, for instance, with the Evelyn Boswell case, my uh, intuitive uh, take on it is not um, the popular opinion amongst psychic mediums from what I can gather and you know, tarot readers, things of that nature. So this, <laughs> me doing, me seeing and feeling it this way, which I can't get around, was even uh, a greater difference um, in opinion, I think. Anyway, so the very first thing, I'm calling out to them, no answer. I asked my brother, nope. Yannon's like, mm-mm. So I'm like, okay, so let me continue on. Uh, and at that point, I'm, I was saying to myself, okay, is there a chance that I'm not picking up on this correctly? Absolutely, okay. But I gotta go with what I'm working with here. And what I'm working with right now is I got a bunch of no's. So let's continue on. You see what I'm saying? Don't get stuck. So let's open the flow and see where it goes. And maybe we'll, we'll see, you know, uh, why it either feels that way and isn't that way or feels that way and is that way, okay? So <clears throat> instantly I start, uh, uh, ram my mind starts rambling off states 
So it says, and I've translated uh, most of this for what I can read. California, Indiana, California, I wrote again. And they're on top of each other. California, Indiana, California, September, October, November. Then it says August 19th, Kansas. Um, then to the side, and you know, please just bear with me. It says 12th, thinks they are in danger. R.E. Alex thinks she is targeted. Okay. So in other words, she thinks, uh, what I feel like what I was picking up is that Lori felt like she was targeted because of the behaviors of Alex. But again, that was at her doing, uh, well, at her inf undue influence. Okay. So it was a collaborate, it was a collaborative, uh, uh, I don't want to say event, but you know, it was collaborative. Anyway, so then I were underground protection, way off grid, way off grid. Then it says New Mexico, it says like underground railroad, like being moved over a period of time, okay? Then I wrote, and that's on the back, but I've translated over here in the way I thought it went. Anyway, uh, New Mexico, being moved over a period of time. Then Missouri, Memphis, Tennessee, Idaho, Kansas, Kentucky, Illinois, Delaware. Then I wrote, where is Amish country? And then in big letters, West Virginia, and all big capital letters, West Virginia. I can't stress it enough. West Virginia. There was a chance it's Virginia because when it first came through it was Virginia. But when I was solidifying everything, like, all right, guys, come on, let's get use. Uh, I'm sorry, let's bring through accurate information and efficient use of uh, the times in, in in some sort of concise fa fashion, uh, so we can keep this tight and right. Anyhow, anyhow, and. I distinctly heard West Virginia, and it sounded like I, it, in other words, the way you imagine somebody when they write in caps letters is the way it came through to me, all right? Um, I also wrote January 17th somewhere in this with a question mark. Oh, no, let me back up. January 17th came through as I was putting the information together, okay? So that was just a little while ago. However, another piece of information. So I like to um, try and meditate before I go to bed, right? It always ends up in me falling asleep. But doing these missing persons cases, that's what I will, uh, I don't want to say focus, but that, that'll be my intent or what I put out there before I start to, you know, um, slow my breathing down. Anyway, I almost fell asleep and I distinctly heard them say May 18th to the point where I woke myself up like, do not forget May 18th and that it was related to this case in particular, okay? Um, whatever it is makes me feel like it's some sort of underground, uh, it's some sort of network, and it's, oh wait, there's a piece of that. Aha, uh -huh. I remember, I wanted to read it right off, yeah. And again, May 18th, and I circled it. Um, and the kids are sacrificed, so she hides them. Okay, wait a minute, there's a piece here. Okay, so she thinks they're targeted and that, you know, in a, uh, sacrificed, in other words, <clears throat> in her mind, she's translating that um, the danger comes from uh, outside based on this Alex thing or whatever she's gotten herself into and that they're looking to basically like sacrifice her children um, in order to pay whatever debt this is. And I don't mean actual debt or maybe I do, but I mean debt. Uh, based on the behavior and what things that have gone on and deaths and other things, that type of thing. And I don't know exactly, you know, uh, or I'm not translating exactly what that stems from. However, it says um, she hides them and it's something to do with followers of Chad because it says see Chad in big letters and I, I underlined it, okay? So... The basis of it to me, it feels like she's she hid them because she thought either she thought or she wanted people to think that they were in danger. All right, and as much as I'd like, because the, it's the, just so much fuckery and, and, and disregard for human life and, and like just power hungry bullshit that I'd love to be like, listen, lady, <laughs> this is you know, let me tell you about yourself, and that's what you did type thing. But I'm just not there with it. Okay, not saying I'm right, but 
I'm not there with it. Um, I think that there's a network of some kind and they're being moved. And I think they will surface, okay? And that's my take on it. Um, I think that's pretty much it for that because to me, there's not too much more as far as it goes. We can, you know, dive down rabbit holes, you know what I mean? Take trips down memory lane, I guess, you know, that type of thing with this case. But uh, the basis of it is like the kids are going to show up, all right? Um, I think the FBI is on it. Does anybody know about this or have uh, confirmation of it? The FBI being on it? Anyway, um, wiretaps, communications. I'm hearing all kinds of stuff right now. So, but it's definitely some sort of network related to Chad. And it's weird because they talk about this cult thing and, you know, uh, certain beliefs they have. Well, I don't know if I'm sold on it or not. In other words, it makes me think more that they don't believe it but want others to believe it because it's a control factor for them. You see what I'm saying? Like um, absorption of power, absorption of um of attention, that type of thing. I don't necessarily think that they think the world's going to end on July. Blah, 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 blah. I just didn't think that you, they're dramatic and got, it was a good storyline and everybody, you know, ate it up like hotcakes, you know, and they'll, they'll lick their shoes if they wanted them to, you know what I mean? That type of thing. Um, so it's handy. Oh, underground railroad. So like slavery. Hmm. Uh, Cause I was just going to say that. You know, they'll lick, they'll lick their, their shoes, you know, like kind of like slaves, like, oh, I'll do anything, anything for you. <laughs> You're the Messiah. The world's going to end. July. <laughs> that type of feeling. Because uh, I couldn't, I'm like, why is it coming through like the underground railroad? I'm like, okay, underground, like a network, that type thing. But why specifically say that instead of like some sort of network? And it just stuck out to me anyway. So that makes a lot of sense. Um. I keep hearing Tennessee, Tennessee, and I just look down, and that's exactly what I'm looking at is where I wrote Tennessee, okay? Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to comment on this video. However, please refrain from telling me about myself because I already know who the fluff I am, and nothing you say is going to change that, nor justify or make it. <sighs> and that's good, bad, or indifferent. So, have a great night, everyone. Um, and I'll see you on the next live. All right. Thank you.